Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dan from Guitar From The Heart. Today, I wanna share a little trick that will help you to break out of the box with the pentatonic scale. This is the third video within the getting around the next series that I'm gonna be doing, that I'll probably be doing indefinitely because learning to get around the neck seems to be an indefinite skill that you have to keep building up. Just a little trick to help you to get out of the box shapes sort of, and to help you to uh, start moving up and down the neck a little bit, just a little bit, while using a pentatonic scale. All right, so if you're watching this video, you probably already know this shape. Well, you do the one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one four, one four thing, right? And I'm starting on the uh, fifth fret here, the the A note on the E string. So for a long time I played with that and I started to notice a couple of things because I wanted to move around. So what I noticed is when I got to here, when I got to like this part, to, to do this is kind of a reach because my hands are so tiny, you know, for a guy that's my size. But it's a little bit of a reach and, you know, I, I don't really like to use my pinky too much when I'm doing pentatonics. So what I noticed is I could get this same note by coming down here. So say I'm descending. Instead I could do... And I could just do like a 1-3 shape. And I don't have to stretch as much. Now stretching is fine, but I prefer to, you know? And I find I could put more, put more gusto into that, you know? Now, so I was playing around with that and then I found soon I could do, I could get this note in there in the action too. And it's great leading into that flat, like flat seven or whatever, if you want to look at it that way. That, that uh, whole step beneath the root note here. And all the while, I'm just doing two note fret, uh, two fret, all the while I'm doing two fret stretches the whole time. And I loved that. <laughs> Guess what, I found some more two, two fret stretches after that up here. Right here, going up. So now let's add that to the box. So now I'll see improviser. Add the other shape. So now you have more range instead of just you could do. So that got me thinking, can I find more notes? There's another two note fret stretch for a uh, two fret. <laughs> Can't say this right. There's another two fret stretch right down here. When you're over here again, if you come right here, from here to here is another two note fret, the two note stretch, two fret stretch, I should say. So we can descend like that, or you can start over here and do this. I like to use my middle finger to come to that note. I'm gonna just stretch with the index finger there. Or use that or come down like that. So you see we're getting more range now. And 
And so this is what I meant by adding a little bit of range of going up and down the neck. Not a lot, just a little bit, breaking out of the box a little bit. And so what I discovered is you can actually just do away with the 1-4 system altogether and do just 1-3 stretches, two frets away for each uh, stretch, like so, if you tie those patterns together. So if we do like this, only using the two note uh, stretches, we get this. Coming back down. And guess what? We pretty much have the same notes to us as we do, as if we're doing. Right? Listen to the notes. We add this note on top. Now listen to this. Same notes. And so what I found for me at least is that when it comes time to actually busting out some pentatonic scales in a playing situation, this is really uh, helpful to me to have the opportunity to go from the regular box and to now do this other thing where it makes it more fluent by the way to do like different descending freezes and stuff like that. So I'll give you a little sample of me playing. It's gonna be in a different key. It's gonna be in a key of E major. So I'm gonna play with my box shape starting on the ninth fret to the 12th fret. And then I'm gonna start breaking out of it and you can see the dynamics there. All right, first method, we're gonna use the box shape. Then we're gonna to go to the two frets per thing. And then we're gonna combine them all. So let's do a little real playing situation here.
right, so that's pretty much it. Um, you can watch all the videos in the world that you want. How are you gonna get better? By actually picking up your guitar and playing, okay? So if you need to go through this a few times and memorize the patterns, go ahead and do that. And uh, but put it to work. Start to actually improvise using uh, the extension of the box pattern and uh, try to use this other pattern as a separate pattern so that uh, you can move up and down the neck a little bit, you know? Getting around the neck a little bit better. All right, uh, hey, it took me a while to learn this for myself. What can I say, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm sharing it with you so you can be a little bit quicker than I was with the whole situation. And if you want a place to start practicing these different concepts, these lead guitar concepts that I'm showing you, you can head on over to my other channel, Guitar From The Heart Jam Tracks, where I'm going to be providing uh, free jam tracks for you to practice these skills over. And yeah, these skills will work over these jam tracks or over any jam tracks or, or in any actual musical situation because these concepts are pretty much universal in music. Hope you liked the video. It was just like a little extension to the last lesson. And I'll probably be doing a little bit more on the concepts from the last lesson as well where I talked about um, the different approaches to playing lead guitar. To learning to play lead guitar. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. And of course, remember to play the guitar from the heart and have fun with that.